Okay, we are going to use this uh, electronics uh, simulator that is at this address, one, two, three, mm, the circuits. And we just picked uh, new, and in new, we are going to go, okay, we can, we can start right now again. Okay, we are going to start a new one. So we are going to pick new, a new electronics lab, okay. So now we are here with our protoboard, our breadboard, okay? And we are going to add the components we are going to use. First of all, we are going to add an Arduino, okay? Then we write here, write down Arduino. We are going to pick the Arduino one, okay? is here already okay we are going to put it there and then we are going to uh, as you can see here okay I'm going to take this one to this side better because now you can see here the minus sign the round and you uh, you can see here the positive the positive voltage okay so now we are going to add some uh, batteries, okay, to source our our components. So we are going to add some batteries. Okay. And we are going to pick these batteries, the AA batteries and we are going to use uh, some of them so we are going to use four of them so again more components more batteries here here and another one here we can make this thing smaller so now we are going to join the positive of one of them to the negative the positive to the negative and the positive to the negative and this is going to be the positive of our source of voltage of energy and this is going to be the negative of our source of um, of uh, voltage of energy okay we can as is uh, is round we are going to pick here black and this one as is positive we are going to pick here the color red for it okay so now we have our circuit already source already with energy so now uh, we have to join the ground because all the ground have to be together the ground of the Arduino with the ground of the breadboard and we are going as well to uh, make this line black okay we can for you to see better maybe put the Arduino here and you can see better the lines so this is ground okay okay now we are going to add the motors we are going to use two dc motors so we are going to take this one for example and we are going to take the other one that is that one here okay so to control this motor we need uh, a driver a driver is another circuit that let us source or let us put some power into these motors because arduino doesn't have the necessary uh, intensity to drive this motor so we need a driver to uh, add a driver we are going to uh, right here driver our driver in class is the 298 here is the 293 but has the same setup so we can use both of them so we are going to put it here okay and now we have to see what are the pins what are the setup of this circuit because we, we can see like that well we if we approach the the mouse 
into the inputs we can see the different setup the, the, the different pins but we have here this part of the of the web page that is schematic view and we can see here the setup of Arduino here and the setup of our driver here we have the same as in class the enable to enable for two motors and all the inputs to uh, these inputs let us change the direction of the motor this is for one motor and this is for the other motor okay we have here the the input for of the input uh, v this one v sub s and v sub ss this has to has to go to the positive okay we have to source this uh, circuit by these two inputs and then all the ground has to be joined into the general ground of the circuit okay the grounds as we've seen are here in the center so we are going to join these rounds into round all the round has to be together as i told you okay maybe i don't know because this breadboard is separated maybe i don't know if they are if these lines are joined so i'm going to join them just in case okay and then uh, i'm going also to join this ground with this ground okay i'm, I'm going i'm going to uh, change the color to black and also i'm going to join this uh, positive tension positive voltage with a red a red line a red wire into the other uh, part of the breadboard so now we have here also two rounds this round go here and this other round goes here okay so now as you can see here I have all the rounds joined together into a general one, into the general one. So now I'm going to uh, source my circuit. So to do that, I have to join the this uh, input with the source of uh, voltage here. I'm going to um, color this line and also this one and I'm going to color it also because I want to be clear oh sorry I want to make clear that these ones are the source of energy of my circuit okay now we can see here we have this part is for one motor okay this is the enable uh, and this one is the input one the output uh, we can see this from here this output one and output two are the ones that has to go to one of the motors and this output four and output three they are going to go to the other motor so now we are going to um, wire them so this motor here is going to go to for example this output four and this another terminal is going to go to this output 3 okay and the same with this other motor this one goes here to this output and that one to this output okay now as we can see here we have we have these outputs into our motors and these outputs into the other motors so now we have to <coughs> connect a wire, the enable, the inputs, okay, and from one motor and the enable and the inputs for the other motor. <coughs> so let's do it. To do that, we have to uh, use the Arduino. So for example, we are going to place the digital input 13 for this motor for the the one of the inputs in one this as i told you before is for change or or for choose one of the directions 
uh, the spins direction of the motor and for example we can choose this uh, 12 for the other input of the motor okay and we have to choose one PWM as you can see here is uh, pulse width modulation okay modulación por ancho del pulso como dije en clase is this is uh, identified by this hyphen by this sign okay and we are going to use this <coughs> input <coughs> excuse me this in this input that has the PWM for the enable because the enable <coughs> is the input that lets our model to to run and provides <coughs> sometimes the speed we need to 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 drive our model in different speeds I'm going to move the Arduino here for you to see better the wires well it's kind of difficult because they join all the okay we are going to let it and now I'm going to do the same with the other model I'm going to use this D10 that is also PWM with the enable of this motor the enable is this one okay and then I'm going to use for example the 9 with this input and the 8 with this other input okay so now I have all my project all my circuit uh, together and I can I can proceed I can go to the code editor okay now I have to write down here my code this code is going to depend on this input I use okay well, well these are not inputs are outputs in this case okay so I have to work here with these outputs I have to change this code and uh, run it and see how this uh, project works uh, we did that in class this um, this program so I'm not going to do it again um, I even can upload this code into my Arduino for for it to for, to run there in my Arduino so this is a very powerful tool to use it okay and uh, I can also debug this code so for example I'm going to change the name of this circuit I'm going to change it uh, motors motors with driver in Arduino for some okay and now it's okay I have my code here my everything is safe so it's done thank you